Healthcare is in a very interesting place right now. There's excitement, but then there's also challenges. With the escalating numbers of people getting older, we can't continue along with the status quo because it's not sustainable. Only some of those needs will be met by healthcare providers. So many of those needs are basic human needs and those are most clearly delivered by faith communities and by other organizations that interact with the elderly. Hospitals have to sort of reconfigure themselves to figure out how best to address health issues, but from the community perspective. We do know that seniors are living much longer now, and they're much healthier, and they're much more vibrant, and they're also very connected to their community. And so right now, the big, the big emphasis is on aging in place, and aging in place really entails keeping individuals in their community. The majority of elders live at home, and so this is a time to be very focused on the community level and things that we can be doing uh, to support and um, create the infrastructure. Um, and faith-based communities are um, a, a foundational block for that because of the trust and relationships that are already built. When a congregation partners with a hospital, they can dramatically improve the health outcomes of their congregants, both by helping to keep them out of the hospital and after they're in the hospital, keep them healthy and not going back in. And so there's opportunity in the faith community for not only just exercise, fitness, health, and nutrition, but it's a, it's a solid support system for individuals. And I think adding that spiritual peace within the church, you can really infuse that sense of, of hope, uh, that sense of being cared for, that sense of being accompanied. And that makes all the difference in the world. Part of it is my role as a pastor. I just, I'm a gatekeeper or just a scheduler and just try to make sure it happens. You know, things that I can't do myself. I go visit people in homes, but I have also extraordinary ministers who do that as well. And I have friendly visitors who go, not for sacramental purposes, but for, the, for ministry of presence. So these are all kind of things we can do, and we do here uh, for people in our parish because we want to take care of people. being totally present and available to a person physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually is perhaps not the most dramatic or technically savvy gift that you can give a person, but it's certainly the one that reaps the greatest uh, response of gratefulness. In faith-based communities, there is a special bond of trust and relationship, so they become naturally occurring um, comfort networks. How can we also create the environment in which people live, work, play, and pray? That's in the community. In every congregation, there are seniors who don't have the support that they need. For them, a program where the congregation is working together can be tremendously beneficial so that the person in the congregation who wants to help that senior knows what to do and has the support to do it well. <laughs>